Okay, this is gonna be a very interesting intro to the video. Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Finally, I'm back. I know, I took like three days off. No videos at all, but we're back. So I'm not gonna waste your time. If you're only here for the FNAF Hero gameplay, skip to this timestamp. Trust me, it's, it's worth your time if you're just here simply for the gameplay. If you do want to hear me talk a little bit, hopefully not too long, feel free to stay and continue watching this part of the video. Because I do, unfortunately, have to talk about a few things. What happened on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, which I mean, frankly, you should all be following me, so I really shouldn't have to explain it. Uh, but also my thoughts on the two new skins that we are getting for this event. As you have seen in the thumbnail, title, and the actual gameplay, again, as you'll see later on in the video, we got a brand new Red Riding Hood Chica skin tonight. And then presumably sometime later on, maybe Thursday, we'll also be getting a brand new Foxy skin. So first off, let's start with Twitter, because what the frick? What? what? So if you don't know, a lot of people got upset at me. They got pretty big piss baby rage mad at me over on Twitter.com. Surprise, surprise, people getting upset at someone for having an opinion on Twitter.com. So Illumix made a post at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, the date and time the update was supposed to release, and said, hey, odd just wanted to let you know that the event won't be going live today. We're sure to let you know as soon as the new event's live, but we expect a delay until sometime tomorrow. As always, we appreciate your patience. Now let me put you, the viewer, who most likely is not a content creator, in the content creator shoes for a second, okay? For me specifically, it's 8 p.m. Not too late, but also late enough where I really don't want to be, you know, focusing on work. Unfortunately, on those dates, I have to do that because that is when Illumix and FNAF Hero release their new updates. So, you know, I'm big chillin', I'm big chillin'. I, I get ready to set up to record for a brand new episode of FNAF Hero, my favorite game. In fact, some other content creators went live. Now, you guys probably don't know this if you are not a content creator, but it does actually take a lot of time to set up a video, at least for me. I don't know how it is for other people, but for me, it takes a bit. You gotta make sure the mic's all good, the camera's in focus, your lights are on, you know, everything looks fine in your room, because you're, you're doing a FNAF AR video, so everything needs to look clean and neat. So it takes a bit. You know, an 8pm rolls around, I'm ready for the new update, you know, I've already recorded an intro for the video, and then there's no update. But there is a Twitter.com post by Illumix, the one I just read to you. Now, I was a little bit skeptical, like, oh, why are you, why did you wait until this exact time when the update is supposed to go live to inform us about the delay? Also, like, is the bug happening during the launch of the update? If so, why are you working on bug fixes and glitches last second before the event goes live. Honestly, that wouldn't surprise me. We've had a lot of glitchy events uh, been released in the past. But anyways, I'm a little bit annoyed. Mainly because, well, it's pretty late and I just went through all the effort of, you know, getting ready to record. Also, chat during the live stream I did that day really was not fun. So that was just a really not fun day. And I reply. It's something along the lines of like, oh, thanks for letting us know about the delay so soon. Thanks, really do appreciate it. Obviously, a very sarcastic response, which, again, I made because I was kind of annoyed. And then Twitter.com just went full on slamming on me for honestly, I have no clue why. It's not like I said, Illumix, how could you? I freaking hate you. I wish Scott never hired you. I never said something like that. It was a sarcastic comment. And all of a sudden, I'm getting personal attacks about my looks, my voice, my content, everything. I get blocked by like 10 freaking accounts. It's, it's insane. The amount of hate I got just because of that one sarcastic tweet. So let me make this clear, because it's more easier to say in video, when I'm talking, you can see my face. And I'm also not restricted by a 200 character limit on a Twitter post. I'm fine with the delay. I never said, how could you delay this goddamn update? What the heck is wrong with you? I simply implied that I was annoyed because they didn't tell us about it beforehand. You know, they waited until the last second, the exact time the update was supposed to go live. It's frustrating. I guess it was a really bad day. Maybe I'm looking at this from the wrong angle. Maybe I said something that I wasn't supposed to, but in my opinion, from my point of view, it didn't look like that bad of a comment. I don't get why I was getting so much hate, but whatever, it's Twitter. The next day, FNAF Hero put out another post saying, hey y'all, we're unfortunately still trying to stamp out some particularly stubborn bugs for the upcoming event. Our team deeply appreciates your support as we work hard this weekend to get this event to you as quickly as possible. We'll be awarding everyone the 3D little red Chica profile icon when the event starts as a thank you for all of your continued 
patience. And this was fine. You know, I retweeted it, you know, I quote tweeted something very generous, uh, and I'll say this again, I'm fine with the delay. I want the update to be the best it can be. I just wish Illumix had handled informing us a bit better, but thanks for the update on your situation. The best of luck. Yeah, and that's all I was really looking for was what's happening, why is it being delayed, and why did you wait this long to tell us? That's the only issue I had, and I just got attacked. It, it was insane. I could keep going on, but thankfully it seems like the whole situation has died down. I'm sure there's still people who hate me. Also, like, you gotta think about it from my point of view. People know me as the dude who hates FNAF AR, which let me just say, I don't hate FNAF AR. Do I sometimes really disagree with some of the marketing and business tactics that Illumix use? Yes, yes, of course, and I state that in what feels like every video at this point on FNAF AR, but I've never once said that I freaking hate the people at FNAF AR. I never once said Scott should have never hired you. In fact, I really don't think I've been that harsh on a Lumix. Whenever I'm upset, I feel like I have good reasons. Take chocolate, uh, Melted Chocolate Bonnie, for example. He had reused animations. He was a reskin of a reskin with not many two alterations. And also his attack was glitchy as all hell. In fact, I don't even know if they fixed that. I'm pretty sure that they never even addressed it. So I don't know if that was intentional or not. So anyways, now let's talk about the brand new skins because they are, they're interesting. Frankly, I actually do really like the Chica skin. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know why they chose to go with Red Riding Hood. I'm also a little upset that we're only getting skins based on that story. I feel like a overall fairy tale theme would have been more, you know, exciting. But it's whatever. I'll probably talk a bit more on the Chica skin once I'm in the game, because that is the skin for tonight. So feel free to skip ahead to the gameplay if you don't want to be spoiled about Foxy's new skin. But here it is. This is the big bad Foxy skin, and it looks like dog crap. I'll be honest. It's Foxy with a bit of extra fur and big bushy eyebrows. I'm pretty sure he's also got, like, claws, but they, like, I don't know. His animation looks weird. It looks... Overall, he just doesn't look like he should be official, right? It feels like this is a very fan-made character. His animation's all over the place, the skin itself doesn't look good. In my opinion, again, I think it's one of the worst skins. It's just Foxy with fur and claws. And he also has a grandma counterpart, like, what is happening? And apparently, it's its own skin. Now, to be fair, the design and the two skins of Foxy, the grandma and the wolf, could be separate, you know, the design could not be final. Again, this doesn't come out for a little bit, so who knows, maybe this is just early, uh, <laughs> early designs, but honestly, I don't think it is. I'll probably talk about it more when it actually releases, and again, I think the Chica skin looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure the workshop animation is reused, maybe altered slightly, but the skin itself looks pretty good. I like the hood, I like the rip, and not only the, um, the cloak, but also her body as well, exposing her endo. I love the basket, um, with the cupcake inside. I think it looks good, but again, as for the foxy skin, god, I hope this is not final, because what the hell is even that? Anyways, hopefully that clears some things up. I know the whole Twitter drama thing was kind of dumb, and I know that I have said some maybe harsh things towards Illumix in the past, but again, I feel like it's all held up with actual constructive criticism. And also my thoughts on the skin. So, I know I've been talking for a long time, I'm looking at my timer, it's been like 14 minutes. So now, let's honestly just hop into the game. Yo, so, funny story, I'm actually having to re-record my footage for FNAF Hero. This has never happened to me, the game has been out for like a year and a half, I've never had to do this. Basically, my phone gave me a notification saying, uh oh, stinky, sorry, we didn't save your screen recording, and I'm like, bro, what the hell? So I'm back, which means I gotta say everything all over again, I said when I fought Chica for four times, I think. And also, I have to buy more lures, so boys, please, if you're watching the YouTube channel and you are not subscribed, you're just here for my content, then by Jesus, please subscribe. Please. All right, I'm not gonna waste too much time. Basically, I think I I like the 3D icon. I'm trying to think of everything I said when I recorded my gameplay the first time around. Right, I like the skin. Um, I like the 3D icon. I also bought the other profile pictures. Here they are. I don't know what this is, actually. It looks like some sort of plant, like pine or like fern. I'm not sure. And then this one is like big meaty claw marks from... um. Foxy, the wolf. Yeah, uh, Illumix, thank you so much for giving everyone the 3D icon. You really didn't have to do that, so very generous of you, thank you. But yeah, the shop is fine, I'm pretty sure this is all the basic prices. It really does suck that I have to double check that, just because that's how Illumix is. Also, apparently these dudes are back. 
Um, where are they? Right, Woodland Toy Freddy, Swamp Balloon Boy. Um, I do have him, but I would assume Stone uh, Toy Bunny's back as well. So let's not waste any more time. Hopefully I didn't forget um, to mention something super important, but basically, again, I have to refight Toy Chica. Not Toy Chica, uh, Red Riding Hood Chica, just because my phone was like, nope. So because of that, I have seen her animation. Again, I really do like it. I believe I showed it off um, in the intro, because I just got done editing the intro part, which was like eight minutes. So sorry about that long intro, but here we are. So something about Red Riding Hood Chica is that her eyes don't glow during the battle, which actually, it, it actually makes it very difficult to find where she is. Hello. You see? I don't know if that's a bug. I would assume not because um, they did like three days of bug fixes. So I would assume that they maybe play tested it like, I don't know, maybe once. So I'm guessing this is just um, the skin itself. But yeah, refighting her through more times is super fun. Oh, there's that freeze. This also happened this, the first time around, by the way, so. <clears throat> Lumix still has not fixed that. Look at that. I can barely see it. I'm blind as a bat, dude. How am I supposed to see that in the dark? Um, oh yeah. Oh, it's, it's on my desk. Hold on, I gotta show it off. I got a new pop figure. There we go. Look at you. Get you in the light. Why not? Yeah, I got the Chica pop figure. What? I'm not, like, doing this in editing. The game's actually frozen. Oh, and it crashed. Awesome. Yeah, ironically enough, I got the Chica pop figure. I got this before, or I ordered it before the, uh, the skin was even announced, so... There we go. You may have noticed that I've been getting a lot of new merchandise recently. I got the Puppet Pop, I got the, uh, Chocolate Bonnie plushie, and also the Parts and Service, uh, McFarlane set. I like collecting FNAF merchandise. It gets expensive, but I enjoy it. I did not get the suit, so... That sucks. Yeah, what was I saying? It's very difficult to make videos on FNAF merchandise, you know? It works well with, like, um, all that stuff because they were in a collection, you know, like the Easter collection. But it's difficult to make a very entertaining video where I'm like, here's the Chica Pop, here's the Puppet Pop, here's a McFarlane set, here's a plushie. You know, it's very all over the place, so that's why I don't usually do videos when I get new merchandise. I do plan on making a, um, there's a haywire by the way, she's very close to you in the haywire. You know, personal space. I do plan on making a merchandise collection video soon, but I have a, where the hell did you go? Jesus, why did you teleport? You were just over there. I have a few more things coming. Like the, um, I, I, I bought a brand new FNAF AR mug. Let me just say, I really do like, I really do like the FNAF AR mug. Uh, FNAF AR merchandise. I wish they kept doing it. Mod? That's it. Yeah, I really do like the merch. I bought the uh, Radioactive Wasteland, Toxic Wasteland mug. I didn't have that one. That's the only mug I'm missing. Unless they made the anniversary thing into a mug, which I don't know. And I also have the, um, oh, I didn't mention it, but I got the Build-A-Figure, like, McFarlane thing of Chica. I just recently bought the one for Balloon Boy, which was a exclusive to some store. I don't know which one. Where are you? Oh god. I freaked out there. She was right in front of my face, but again, I can't see her eyes. And that's it. Anything good? Nope. Cool. So that was the last fight. Let me make sure. Did I... Yeah, that's all three of the fights. But yeah, that is the uh, the gameplay update. Hopefully this, this recording saves this time. If it doesn't, then... I guess you probably won't see this video. But yeah, overall, a very nice skin. Um, I, I said this last time in my previous recording, which again, didn't save, so I'll say it again here. You saw in the intro that we're getting a new Foxy skin. I won't show it right now, just in case some people wanted to skip ahead to avoid spoilers. But my guess is we're getting the Foxy skin this Thursday. And by this Thursday, I mean like, what, four days from now? Three days, whatever. And then next week, the final week of April, New gameplay update, baby. Whether or not we get a new character, I don't know. At this point, it seems unlikely, which is very unfortunate. I'm turning off the gameplay just in case it's like, hey, this recording's too long, we're not gonna save it, which it was like seven minutes, come on, Apple. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping for a new character. I don't think we're gonna get one, 
but I really do hope we get one for the new gameplay update. Not only has it been like four months uh, since our last one, Golden Freddy in December, but also like it'd be a good way to kick off this apparent like apparently like very big gameplay update. This is the one that Kieran teased back in December um, when she was like, oh yeah, it's the whole reason why we put out so many skins, which let me just say, I think is a complete lie. I think Illumix needed to find a way, find a reason why they can say, oh yeah, we released a lot of skins last year because we were planning this big update which involves all the skins. No, you didn't. D be real, Illumix. No, you did not. No, no, no. But honestly, from the teaser we got like, what, last month, it just seems like a new UI design for the Shocker, which hopefully, again, has new mechanics built into it for upcoming characters. Maybe the withers. I don't know, maybe the fun times. Maybe I'll be in focus once I start talking again. I don't know, I'm hoping for something exciting because honestly, Illumix has been kind of slow, pretty lazy this year. I think they, they did a very good job with this skin. I think other skins in the past were pretty good. I really did like the uh, Ancient e Equinox event. I think both the skins in that event were actually pretty good. Um, Valentine's event, I wasn't too hyped about. I think Bonnie looked all right. Other than that, not really a good good year so far, so hopefully, hopefully we have good things coming, but I don't know. Uh, I've been optimistic in the past with the Lumix, and it usually doesn't work out. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.